goal is taking as much speed from the curve and having the right entrance into the next section of the track. To achieve the optimal line through the curve, in this case the blue line, the athlete sometimes has to steer just before certain points where a lot of g-forces occur. Sometimes the athlete misses to steer the sled at the right point which causes the sled to loop. Here the red line. This often leads to a crash. So here we have a good example for how not to do. Um, you can see Wolfgang here is very flat at the beginning which means he's steering a bit too soon. And if you steer too soon you build up more pressure. Especially here in Chrysler where the first pressure point is it's roughly where the blue line is and that's where the sled naturally rises and if you steer too soon you build up more even more pressure you can see the sled starts to rise even more and yeah from there on he's just fighting it he's steering up and down to get it back in line okay so here we have a comparison between Felix Loch on the right side and Simon Pavlichenko on the left side and you can see that Felix is cutting the, the second part of the lower labyrinth in uh, the Koenigsee way more than Seaman on the on the left side, and that and of course that means he has less way to drive and is yeah a faster way. Understanding how a sled works is quite tricky. The steels are not completely parallel to each other; they have a slight called toe. The toe allows the slider to steer the sled. By putting pressure onto one kufen, the steels dig in more to the ice, which turns the sled. The O strengthens that effect. It's always a combination out of the toe and the O that makes the sled steerable. 